I don't know about you, but I remember where I was at when the direction of my life was formed, Michigan International Speedway, on August 23rd, 1974, when I saw Richard Petty's fire red and petty blue Dodge go screaming by. Since then, probably just like you, we've been hooked. From our first media gig, at the tender age of 15 in 1983 with Grand National Scene, to printing our own Supercars Today magazine in the 1990s, hence our name. Nothing against our open wheel friends, but if it has fenders, our nosy nature wants to find out the who, the why, and the how. We don't necessarily interview these people, we have conversations. So please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to be notified of new content every Tuesday at noon. Thanks for watching, and please like, comment on, and share these videos. Today on the program, So you guys are driving home, your phone's going off the hook, um, <laughs> you got 4,000 interview requests, you know, none as important as mine, of course, just <laughs> kidding, but <laughs> I'm the only one who came to you, but, uh, and I know I was late, you don't have to bring that up. <laughs> what else is new? But, um, so, how has your life changed? I mean, you're driving home, your phone's gone off the hook, you're answering calls, and people, and you, mean, you probably had to think, my God, who's this, who's Kevin? I can't remember him. I'm sure you get plenty of those. So we're leaving Daytona, people are honking. It's expected, right? You know, it's Daytona. We get into Atlanta and, you know, it's Atlanta rush hour. And we had a couple people like honking and pumping fist. And I'm like, wow, wow, you know? And still at that point, like, I didn't realize the, the, um, I don't even know what to what to call it, but the the media rush or whatever from from, from, from my yeah my expectations or whatever from the the getting out of the car and losing my mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I mean, you know, I like I I still hadn't kind of grasped that, and um, you know, then then as we're driving, you know, my wife's kind of like going. Th through everything i'm i'm focused on driving i'm not right. i'm not trying i'm actually i'm trying to listen to the darn trying to get like nascar radio and stuff on my phone <laughs> and uh right you know through the apps and then and, and then i got the maps going and these idiots are calling me and and so um you know so my wife's kind of going through twitter and 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 it's like man it my phone's going off and it it's I, i'm not able to to reach out and you know i'm i'm I hadn't really talked to any of my crew guys because I've got so many messages coming through <clears throat> that like they're the, the crew messages and everything, they're just getting dropped down to the, you know, uh, you know, 50, 60 messages <laughs> below where the last one I answered. And but did you almost feel obligated to answer from these, to these strangers? I mean, well, I don't, I don't feel obligated. I mean, I don't, cause you know, if you forget that one, I'm going to be, Oh my God, that oh, well, I mean, man also the jerk. And, you know? and I don't have to answer any of them, right? but I'm trying to, yeah. right? Because, um, I feel like if somebody reaches out and says, Hey man, congratulations. Um, a simple thank you is, is huge, right? Because I, I guess I'm starting to kind of view it as like, if I was a kid that's 18, 19, 20 years old and, and I'm trying to make it in racing 
and I sent a message to a guy that just won at Daytona, and that guy responds. Oh, yeah. He's he's thinking, oh, man, that's a normal guy. And if a normal guy can do that, I can do that. And And so I'm trying to reach out to every single person that's messaged me and said, hey, you know, Thank you, and, 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 and even if it's that simple, right? Um, I, I have had a couple people that you say thank you, and then they, 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 they answer back, and, and you know, they have a conversation. And, <laughs> and I, uh, my spotter um, and uh, another cup spotter, we were at dinner, and they told me, like, put the phone away. They're like, don't look at it, put it away, enjoy it, because what happens there's, I guess there's an unwritten rule that drivers and, and crew members and stuff have. I, they do not respond until after midnight. And the, mm. the thoughts are, that. is that people are in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Never and, and you can simply say thank you or whatever, answer their question, and then there's not a conversation. Not because, a conversation. because people kind of sometimes, I guess, get upset if you don't respond. And, no, right, like and, I was uh, saying. They, yeah. Oh, my God, what a jerk. Um, you know? So... Yeah, so I'm because the only to, autograph you hear about that either get that doesn't get signed is that one guy that's social media savvy, not the 500 right. you signed before. Right. I mean, I'm know. I'm I've been a fan of racing my entire life, right? And I feel like I'm going full circle. Obviously, I'm not at the top. I'm not at you know I'm 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 not the guy that can't walk in anywhere without anybody asking for the autograph. So I I mean <laughs> I, I probably never will be. Um, That's probably about to change. <laughs> um, but, but, but I, I do get, if a fan reaches out, like, you know, they're doing it for the love of racing, right? There's, there's nobody's going to know that they sent you a message through private messenger or whatever on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. I mean, they're not, they're not like screenshotting it and putting it out there. Oh, I sent, you know, this guy a message and he responded. And, and if they do, that's <laughs> cool. But you know, I mean, they're, they're literally just trying to say, congratulations, that's an awesome win. It's, you know. Because <laughs> they feel part of it. They, yeah. 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 And, and if, if, uh, if I can respond and that makes somebody's day or, or, you know, my thoughts are is that, that, that makes somebody understand who I am as a person and, and, and whatnot. That's, I, I mean, that's just. <laughs> Boy, man, oh man, don't mean to get all weird on here, but I was literally leading in my next question in that when you said, I understand how I am as a person. And whenever I'd see you as a person, you know, you're always kind of funny and a bit gregarious and outgoing. And and as as we talked a few times on the phone, it 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 sounded like you were overwhelmed. I mean, it, and, and I don't know if it's because you couldn't remember who I was or or whatever, but it's like, is the stress getting to you a little bit? Is it getting overwhelming or is it still manageable or um i mean now that we've spent the day together yeah I, this well, is how I so you, but. so i mean i don't know when this will go out there and i don't want to make it sound like i don't appreciate what's going on but i i still have to work for a living <laughs> right like i mean i haven't really worked at all this week so like i'm starting to it's thursday okay so we'll put that out there it's thursday I'm starting to sweat, and as I'm sitting here thinking, like, did I do enough today to get my fence crews ready for Monday, right? Because it's kind of like a four- or five-day thing where I can do some things, and then it, it'll run for four or five days. And it's like, I I mean, I worked this morning, and, and I'll bring up that you were late, and it actually kind of helped me because I had time blocked. So I was working, but it's like, that's that's more, it's not that I don't, um, it's not that I, I, I don't want this to keep going and I don't want to do interviews because, I mean, I'm going to do them. Yeah. It's more of like, hey, I, I still have to, I still have Other to be, to do. I still have to work. Yeah. I still have to be a dad. I still have to be a husband. I mean, our Phoenix car is back there and I don't know if it's on camera, but it's like in pieces. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> so like, 
it's not it's not that it's overwhelming it's it's you know like you said earlier it's like it's like i'm playing tetris in real life i have all these parts and pieces and i start thinking about this part trying and that part and right. i'm trying to figure out how to fit it all because i feel like if i don't do this stuff and i don't accept it then it's just going to go away and in reality i would rather have the stress of trying to figure out how to get everything done than not be doing this stuff because Brad my mind again. <laughs> man, let, let's let's just be honest. Like this this may be the only time in my life that I ever have to do this. And if that means I gotta be a little stressed, man, that's good stress. <laughs> good stress. That's very good stress. They keep reaching back, hey, Benny Parsons was our champion. He was a cup champion. Like, well, who, who after that? So it's supposed to be a building series, supposed to be a feeder series, supposed to be, well, now you come up through the CRA ranks and done it. You should be the commercial forever now. <laughs> Arca should be going, oh, man, we, this is, we don't even have to say anything. Just put Greg's face up there, and that's what we are right there. And I know you remember it because almost a million people watched it and, and it's not going to be done being watched. People are going to keep watching and I'm going to keep going back and see what the views are on YouTube and you know it's got to be incredible. You know, I don't know if they put the, did they put the whole race up yet or just bits and pieces? Well, it's, I, I did find the full race, but it's, it's edited, so I'm not Is sure it? if okay. like the full race ever gets put on. Yeah. I'm not well, sure how that works. Well, the, I think the full race is two hours because I set my DVD recorder to record it for you, and I think it was two hours and 35 minutes, I think. And I mean, I don't know how long the, the I think you said an hour and a half, the one you watched. Mm -hmm. So then they did, you know, chop off yeah. commercials and all that, which is fine, but, um, and then some of the other stuff they probably took out too. Uh, maybe a few things that, hey, did you see that? No, I didn't see that part. But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going back and looking at the views, but yeah, Arca should be real happy that what they were made for is what you did and to to wrap it up uh you know i've spent the whole day with you and i just it's been a you know it's just been a just a pleasure sitting here uh because you you got into the meat of of uh, my dad always get mad because you know you're nosy well yeah i am <laughs> and, and you gave me all the stuff i needed and i really appreciate it that's why i was like when well, i gotta go do this zoom I'll go ahead i gotta put this on go ahead you know because i where am i going you know i'm, I'm I'm cool with, you gave your time to me, I can totally give you time back, plus I was late, so, you know, dock, <laughs> dock my pay, you know, but, um, uh, congratulations, what a, what a great moment for, I say motorsports, not just for ARCA, I think for motorsports, and it's not done, I'm telling you, it's not done yet, and like I say, when you're 60, 70 years old, I mean, I still see them inviting ARCA winners down and, you know, playing them up, and, and so, I mean, you're, you're forever, <laughs> not only just an ARCA winner, but a Daytona ARCA winner. Yeah. So, and you'll be on highlights forever, you know, so that, that, you know, including on my channel and other people's channels. So, you know, like you say, just, just uh, soak it in as you can. So any final thoughts? No, I'm, I'm, uh, not the joke we said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, more than anything, I just got to make sure everybody <laughs> understands that there is a huge, huge group of people behind me that that don't get paid to do it i mean these guys they blood sweat and tears that's that's what it's about and uh you know i've had a, like i said i've had a couple of people reach out like want to come to work for us and i i don't think they really understand i don't think they believe <laughs> that like this is a volunteer race team and um you know sometimes at the racetrack it gets tough because we're like a bunch of brothers um you know so we pick <laughs> on each other we talk crap about each other but you know even if i had a million dollar budget just for the just for the crew i don't think i'd choose anybody else 
and I, like I say, since Winchester, you finished second that day. Uh, until now, I see the same people in your pits. It's, so, it's the same, like I said, it's the same group of guys that we won the late model championship with. And uh, It's pretty rare in motorsports. It's, it is rare. And, and for guys that, I mean, you know, I, I tell them all the time, like, if you got an opportunity to go make money, don't let me hold you back. And, and I, I don't, I don't know if they've ever had opportunities or, or whatnot, but I've, I, I've seen people, you know, go work for other teams and, and getting paid for it. And, and, and sometimes I do wonder why, why do these guys stick <laughs> with me? Right. And, and, you know, if I'm not paying them, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm just being me. And, and, uh, I'll tell you what you did. Took them to Daytona. I'll, won. Well, <laughs> I'll wrap it up with that. You took them to Daytona and you won. That's yeah. the, who wouldn't want to do that with a right. team like yourself. It's what you dream of. It's what you think it's going to happen. Boy, you know, beyond our wildest dreams, this could happen. And you did it. So, yeah. you know, that's the payment. Yeah. So. I, I, um, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I, I, uh, I dream out loud a lot. Right. <laughs> so I've, I've talked it up that we're going to make it happen. And, and, uh, I don't know Infectious. who, yeah, I don't know who said it. Um, one of the crew members or the crew members, girlfriends or something, they're like, like we've talked about it so much. We talked it into reality. <laughs> and, uh, you know, obviously sitting with me for a whole day, you, you, you've learned I'm a talker. So, you know, if the <laughs> dream of, if the dream of winning Daytona could be talked into fruition, I, I, I we have talked and talked and talked about doing it. And, uh, you know, I, I can't believe we've, we've pulled this off. Well, do you think somebody wants to sit around and go, oh, we're not going to win. We suck. Yeah, you're, or a guy like you, right? You know, so. <laughs> well, you know what? Eight o'clock, time for pizza. Yeah. So, sir, thank you so much sure. for having me. It Thank was an honor and a pleasure, and uh, see you at the races. Yeah.